Unity Live Event Lighting Episode 3, Creating a Basic Light. So let me show you how basic lights work within Unity. Go to your hierarchy and go down to light and then you have a list of lights to choose from. Now, in the scene, we already have a directional light. We don't want to add another one. So let's go down to lighting and actually our only two choices for real time is point and spot lighting because area light has to have calculations that are built in and baked into the light map of the scene and that's not real time and we're not going to do that. In the future, Unity may have better functionality with certain types of lights, so we're going to hold off on that. I'm going to place down a point light which is a ball of light, right? And then I can change the intensity right here in the inspector. And here is a spotlight. I can move the camera around and reposition my light here. Now in the settings, I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna change the intensity. Now I can change the cone, the spot angle of my light. We see that we get an indirect multiplier warning message that real-time indirect bounce shadowing is not supported for spot and point lights. So to remedy this at this moment, we're just gonna turn the indirect multiplier to zero. Now we can go down to shadow type and choose soft shadows because that usually looks the best. And then we get a couple other settings that has to do with the real-time shadows. The rest of the settings we can leave alone, but if you know about stage lighting and you know about Cuculoris, that's exactly what Cookie is down below. Okay, so our light is looking good in the scene, but I want to give it more of a physical representation. Go to 3D Object Cylinder and let's create a body for our light just like in the real world. So I'm going to move and zero my spotlight out so it's directly above the cylinder that I just created. So I'm going to move the cylinder up and I'm going to change the cylinder characteristics to more match the size of this light. Okay, that's looking great. Now here's a cylinder and here's the spotlight in the hierarchy. If I drag the spotlight to be a child of the cylinder, then what the cylinder does is going to transfer onto the light. So now I can change the settings and move around the light and you can physically see it has a body to the light. And this is gonna help us out with visually representing our lights, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and make a material for the light housing. And I'm gonna choose just a dark gray here. I'm just going to drag it onto the scene and bam, now it has a color. Okay, we made a light. Now, let's say I want to make more lights, okay? What you can do is grab the cylinder and drag it into our project and I'm going to make what we call a prefab just by doing that action. And the prefab can now sit there and what we made in our scene, we can delete. And now when I drag in the spotlight into my hierarchy, it's making direct copies. And then each of these direct copies, I can go in and change so that every single one of these lights is mimicking the other in these physical properties. Now that we have a bunch of spotlights, let's go ahead another step and control all of our spotlights at once. How we do that is we're gonna create an object that's gonna hold all of these lights in our hierarchy. So we can take the spotlight and highlight them, right click, create empty parent, and now they're sitting within this spotlight which has a transform which we can manipulate. So if I take the rotation right there, right there is even far more interesting light than we had before. So now that we've gone around and manipulated this row of lights, I'm going to rename it Spotlight Row A. 
And I'm gonna move the lights to the back of our stage for right now, cause we're gonna do some more stuff in the front of the stage. And that is how to create a basic light with Unity. And in the next episode, we're gonna be doing some really cool coding and I will see you there. Thank you for watching.